so we found abnormal brain. The study found no direct correlation. Maybe this distance. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're doing an EMF review of the new iPhone 16. Now you're probably wondering what has changed between the iPhone 16 Pro and the older iPhones. Well, actually, they've actually removed an antenna from the 15. Boom! Camera is now the future of antenna worlds. And also, you've now got the latest Wi-Fi, so it's better. It's so good that actually there's no longer, there's no longer a little package slip telling you about the potential regulation for EMF and RF. It's completely gone. Used to, there used to be a slip here, but now there's no information. Or is there new? Look at the back of the cable. Kapow! What does it say right there? Microscopic. Ooh. Regulatory information available on settings, general legal and regulatory information. Boom, shakalaka, it's still there. You just can't see it. So that's very good of you, Apple. Thank you so much for hiding away information that you don't want us to read. Really appreciate that. Well, let's see what it says inside this general section. SAR, all that stuff, latest approved methods to reduce exposure to RF energy, use hands-free option. So it's still got that guideline. So do not put the phone to your face. According to legal and regulatory information, you know, just use hands-free. So yo, 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 yo. And there are some tips I'm also gonna share with you to reduce the RF if we need to. Because first, we have our, we're doing an, an A, B comparison. And we do have our B phone here. This is the Samsung S24 Ultra. It's not necessarily the B phone. This could be the A phone for some people. For me, it's the A phone. And this is the B phone. But for most people in this channel, probably, they love E phones. So that's A phone and this is the B phone. So Samsung, traditionally, they've been better on RF. I've pretty much just given up on the whole case of improvements in RF, depending on where you see improvements is. More is better for some people. Less is better than some for some people. For me, what I tend to do is when I need to keep my phone in my pocket, I turn off mobile data, I turn off Wi-Fi, and uh, you know you can also get shielded pockets and all that stuff. You can even just weave them in. Very, very cheap on eBay. You can make yourself, you can just get yourself a little case if you need to. I don't use one of these RF exposure cases because what happens is if you use a case, you, when you put it on your face, the RF will just bounce more in your face because there's no escape route out. So it's better to not use those cases, in my opinion. Other opinions may differ. So there's things that I do to mitigate that strategy. But we do have an A, B comparison. But first, let's go to the e-phone. I'm gonna, the screen is now officially off. So I've got three, not one. I've got the Latinx meter. I've got the Eric Hill meter. And I've also got, this my favorite meter. This one over here is the Pro. Axis, triple axis, RF height. It just looks so cool. It, looks just, it just looks like I'm doing some sort of sci-fi movie. So I love this one. And uh, that's what I'm going to start off with. So I've turned it on. I'm going to switch over to milliwatts. This is actually detecting zero right now. So this is the perfect phone. It's zero now. So the phone screen is off and it's zero now. We're just going to give it a little moment while we set up the other phones just to see if it does spike up. But zero when the screen is off. I love I, I love Apple. That's my thing. Obviously, some people that wear AirPods, they might differ in this situation. They might need a bit of that exposure to get some sort of frequency going in their heads. But for me, I'm very very happy with this. So I'll turn off the next turn on the next meter. It's the Electro Smog by Eric Hill, and uh, I also turn on the second Latinx. It's the Latinx 5G. Turn it on right there. Eric Hill's also reporting zero. And the Latinx 5G is also reporting zero. So the screen is off and is, I, I am in love. If there was a love, but one thing I need to check is this phone's probably on airplane mode. So let me just, yep, okay, this phone is on airplane mode. So that's why we're getting zero. <laughs> but to be fair, Wi Fi was on. So I'll turn Wi Fi off this time. And it was zero with Wi Fi on. So pretty much that is really nice that there's nothing going on when the screen is off and the wi-fi is on so now i'm going to just turn everything on apart f i'm going to turn everything on including bluetooth so i'm going to go into settings over here and bluetooth turn that on because that's the default status for most people i'm going to go to 2.4 g wi-fi just to switch over because sometimes these meters they can't detect 5g wi-fi don't know why they say they do, but sometimes they get a bit mixed results. So I'll switch to 2.4 just to see what happens right now. 
the main thing we've done right now is we've turned on mobile data and you see the screens, they are bubbling away. You've got milliwatts over here, so it's got 50 milliwatts just bopping away. And this one has 20, 40 milliwatts bopping away. And Eric Hill, he doesn't believe in RF. It's got 0 0.2 milliwatts per meter square. But right now, as you can see, they're all zero and that screen is off. So it did spike for a little bit once we turned on mobile data and Bluetooth, but it's gone back down again. So what I'll do right now is I'll simulate us out in the street. And for that, I'll turn Wi-Fi off and just see what happens with mobile data turned on. So I've actually tapped the Wi-Fi screen right there and it does look white. So you think it's off. 156 milliwatts per meter squared. Now you might be thinking, what does this mean? Well, if you stick your head on a microwave oven, it shoots up over 150 milliwatts per meter squared. And if you new kids on the block, ask your best friend, chat gypped, it'll tell you, don't stick your head next to a microwave. Do you trust the AI do? But if you actually go into the Wi-Fi settings, it's still on. So all we did by tapping on that button is we've disconnected from the network and it's still now probably worse because now it's pinging and looking for Wi-Fi's. So in order to turn off Wi-Fi, you actually have to press that button to turn it off. Remember, Bluetooth is still on and all that stuff's still on. And what could that is zero. All the meters are zero. We're on 4G and it's zero. So maybe my meters no longer work and can detect this stuff or maybe something cool in the world has happened and they're reducing the RF. So Bluetooth is on. Mobile data is on. Obviously, I'm not downloading anything, but we're getting zero. Now, let's just check with our B phone over here. I'll do the same thing. I'll turn off Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, and switch off airplane mode. So I'm on mobile data, 4G. We're on the exact same network here. So now we're on 4G on this Android. This one is jumping up to 2 milliwatts. This one's at 50 milliwatts. This one's also at 80 milliwatts. So we got, this is the, the Android situation, which used to be the better device for RF detection at the very least. And we're getting almost, we spiked up to 90. Now that the screen is off and it's probably finished doing what it needs to do. I'm over here, I'm over telling the world where you are. It is dropped and they're all now zero. So we've got zero, zero right now. And that's really good. So this is a quick test. It's when the screen is off, it drops, it drops. The screen's on. It shoots up just a little bit, but it's now dropping the screens off. So the screen's off right now. It's still at three milliwatts over here, one milliwatt over here, and one milliwatt over there. But it's still generally low. And after a few seconds, it seems to be hopefully dropping. Still two milliwatts, but it's not 50 milliwatts. What happens when the screen shoots on? So when I shoot on the screen, we're now into 60, 75, 130 milliwatts per meter squared, 60 over here. So there's always a spike. Maybe it just needs to tell the world that the screen is now on, do something. Or maybe it tells all the apps, go ahead, refresh, do, do, do your thing. Bluetooth, look for devices, all that kind of stuff. And something that I also have enabled on this is location because we got Find My Network turned on because if someone steals your phone, I don't know what good it would do to have to find my network, to be honest. Someone robbed my mum's phone and it, it ended up find mining itself in an iPhone repair shop. We told the police and guess what the police did? Absolutely nothing. They said, hey, why aren't you guys insured? Thank you, criminals. Thank you for stealing the phone of an elderly lady. We really appreciate your hard work and service. I'm joking. That's a joke. I don't appreciate your hard work and services, but who I appreciate more is the police services. I really appreciate you guys for keeping the people safe and protected. Get insurance, that's the, the solution of the world. Anyway, we're, we're at zero right now. I'm very, very impressed with this. this. I'm very, very happy. Now, I'm gonna simulate a phone call. Let's see if I can simulate a phone call over here. I'm gonna get the B phone, to call the A phone. Uh, a phone over here. And let's just see if there's any spikes in the riff in the world. So we got a phone call. And the milliwatts, they've jumped to 24 over here, 100 over here. So the phone call is ringing. And we got 160 milliwatts per meter squared. So if I, 250, so do not put this phone in your face if you're making a phone call. Oh my days. Look at that. It's just a phone call and it's 100 milliwatts per meter squared. And that is crazy because back in the day, uh, the phones didn't need data, uh, you know, that much network connection to make phone calls, but maybe the situation has changed. So you've got 50, 60 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts per meter squared over here by just talking on your phone. 
So if you're not a fan of high RF, maybe take your phone calls away from your face, like Apple suggests in there, not manual, which Apple point to in your general stuff. But for help, I'm gonna move the detectors away to see how much of a distance you need to get for it to drop to one milliwatt per meter squared, because that's when it is a good for you. So we got just just about a 10 centimeter distance here. It's dropped to 12. So if you do make a phone call, uh, maybe this distance, uh, maybe pretend you're taking a, hello, how's it going mate? <laughs> Just giving practical advice and tips over here on this channel. We're not saying anything. You might like high RF. Remember in the comments when I started publishing these RF review videos, there's a lot of pro people saying, no, it's not gonna cause anything, it's all good. And there's a lot of people who are negative saying, ah, it's rubbish, I hate it. And I'm like, me personally, I like to limit my RF exposure, but some people out there, they love it. They're like AirPods Max kind of people. And you know, if you wanna live your life as an AirPod Maxer, I salute you. You, I, I'm proud of you. People like you are helping me understand the limitations of these devices. You're the pioneer of the wor world. You're the pioneer of the world. And I remain the laggard, just making sure, you know, you know I, I'm old, you know, as you're older, you, you kind of like, you know, you need to, tune your body, make sure you're still fit for function, make sure you can handle the next, you know, however much you've got in this world left. So I'm one of those laggard people, those young kids that are just buzzing away the future. My generation was the Simpsons generation. We could only handle 15 minute segments of TV at a time before we had advert break. 15 minutes was all we could pay attention for. But obviously nowadays there's the TikTok generation where we can only handle five seconds of information. Anyway, let's get back to the test over here. So what I'll do right now is I believe I turned Bluetooth off. So Bluetooth is now off. And I'm going to go into the settings here. I'm going to go into mobile service. And something you should all should actually look at, just a quick tip, is when you swipe the screen down and to the last option, you get this screen about all of your services. So right now we can see that everything is off. One mistake I made earlier is I turned on Bluetooth hotspot with this button. And as you can see right there, it's still grayed out, so you can't see anything. If you tap this button again, you can't actually turn off hotspot. You can only make it discoverable or non-discoverable. The only way to turn off hotspot, you actually have to go into the settings, mobile service, personal hotspot, and turn it off. So back in the day when I started getting phones, they used to always have a big warning saying, don't use hotspot because it has high EMF always keep your phone away. That's back in the day, like maybe five, 10 years ago. Back in the days of back in the day, you know, <laughs> back in the day used to be, but yeah, back in the day now is like a couple of months ago, back in the day. But yeah, so always make sure you turn off your personal hotspot there if you want to limit your RF exposure. But if you like, you know, having everything access to your device and say hello, handshaking each other, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Yeah, bro, what's up, what's up, yo, we all did. You know, giving the gifts fists up, you know, AI taking over. So when AI takes over, do you want them to say, what's up, spud, spud yourself. They'll keep on spud each other. Yo, 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 yo. Anyway, so if you want that to happen, um, make sure you turn that off. And we, we, we have the phones now settled. Let's see what we can do. Can we go for mobile data? So I'm gonna turn off mobile data this time and I'm expecting a dramatic improvement on here. So look, mobile data is off. We got zero on the Eric Hill. We've got zero on the Latinx and we've got zero over here. So the phone is on, mobile data is off. Let's try making a phone call now and see what the RF situation is. Actually getting phone calls. So the RF has jumped to 180, 200 and tw 200, 200. That's some really high quality phone call over here. <laughs> so I don't think turning off mobile data does anything to actual phone calls. It is what it is. Mobile data options, perfect. So if you go into mobile data options, data mode, I've got it set to low data mode. And then with the standard and there's allow more data on 5G. So it says low data helps reduce mobile data usage by pausing automatic updates and background tasks. So there is a setting I had enabled that I forgot to tell you guys about. So if you go into mobile data and then data mode, you go on low data mode, it's gonna have less RF. So when the screen was off, you see, saw it drop down to zero. So that's probably why, the reason is probably because I had low data mode set. I'm not even gonna go to allow more data on 5G. I don't have a 5G detector meter. What do you wanna find out? Let's just do it. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy on this channel. I need to have a vest over here, protect myself. <laughs> but, 
So let's just do a quick downloading data test on the iPhone. Test. We're getting 110, 100 milliwatts per meter squared, 164 milliwatts per meter squared, 160 milliwatts per meter squared, and it's upload, downloading at 13 megabits a second. That's some good speeds over there. A lot of RF for you to download watching this YouTube video. Maybe keep the phone away like this, and uh, it's still pretty high. It's um, at 20 right now when the phone is at that distance. Let's run it again. 10, 20, 25 centimeters away. It's actually dropped down to, to about seven, three, 13 over here. So it's about between five to 20. It always fluctuates depending on where the antenna is getting its strength for. So maybe hold the phone a little bit. Not so close to your face. That's what I learned. Unless you like this exposure. Some people like, you know, going out in the sun, you're getting radiation and it's like, it makes your skin nice and golden, but too much radiation, what happens? What happens? You get sunburnt. So um, maybe the same sort of situation as far as, I don't know. You find out for yourself. D Y D Y R. Do D Y O R Dior. Do your own research. I got some videos, some people are saying stuff. So they're saying stuff over there. So anyway, that is a quick comparison between the phones. You get about 120 when it's downloading data. If you're going really, really fast and you get around up to 200 when you're making or receiving phone calls. But we've learned that there is that low data mode, which is good, which restricts background activity. So when you have the screen off right here now, it should drop down like it did previously, hopefully. Uh, it's at 100 right now, but it should eventually drop down as we saw in the start of the video. At the start of the video, we saw that the phone was doing nothing. It was zero. Right now it's doing 150, 130, 80. I think maybe on the iPhone, so I'm just 380 and maybe on the iOS what it does is when it sees you using your phone it probably says now it's time for us to send our stuff you know go ahead download some stuff elsewhere go ahead upload some data now's the time to shine let's go boys let's go boys and girls let's go let's get this sorted go 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 so it probably tags on all the network activity to go whenever there is a network activity but when you finish your network activity we've got zero on this meter we've got 0.5 on this meter and we've got 10 on this, 16 on this meter. It's probably dwindling down. As we saw in the start of the video, it was actually on zero. So maybe it will calm down after about a minute or so when the screen's off, especially when you have low data enabled. Let me know what you guys think of this amazing iPhone 16 Pro. I mean, is it different with the 16? Is it, is it different with the 15? I never had a 15, so I can't tell you. But that is the state of play today. It's good that they do have options like low data mode. I really appreciate the Apple. I don't like that they now don't allow you to turn off Bluetooth or personal hotspot using the drop down menu. You have to always, it just makes it not discoverable. You have to always go into settings, Bluetooth and personal hotspot and actually turn it off manually there. But you know you have to do it. I'm telling you, you have to do it. So now that you know, you can't blame them anymore. They've taught you that that's what you have to do. So that is it. Hope you guys found this video useful and uh, let me know if you're actually using AirPods to watch this video because that's going to be hilarious. In which case, uh, watch that video where I compare an AirPods Pro with uh, a microwave. Hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the show. So we found abnormal brain. The study found no direct correlation. Maybe this distance.